Hey there, Scorpio. Hope you guys' weekend was good to you guys. Appreciate you guys, as always. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for you guys. Good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio. All right. So we got some forward movement here. Got a Phoenix rising. Got a chain breaker. Look at you showing up as this solid, powerful energy here. And we got somebody here that is like in a mental prison over you because you're breaking all of these chains here. All right. What's overall energy for Scorpio? Loneliness, knowing that you're never alone. This is you fully, like, okay, so this is no longer depending on anyone else's to make you happy. This is you pulling all that energy back and giving it to yourself. And then finding out by doing so, you, nev you never were truly ever alone anyways. You got a whole spirit team that's backing you up here. And somebody's worried because you know this now. We're learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And because we're we're learning to let go of worry, we are also breaking a chain by doing so. Getting rid of any beliefs that are no longer assisting in our growth or our purpose here. So no longer letting any guilt-tripping energy keep you stuck and stop you. That is also a chain-breaking chain breaking that you have also been achieving for yourself here. Scorpio. Scorpio. Everything's under control. You got everything under control. And boy, is somebody in a mental prison about this. You are so much in control. You are in the driver's seat. You are the one taking action here. And it's clearly showing here. You're the one that's got everything under control because you're learning to trust your intuition. You know, when you get called to move, that's when you make a move. Otherwise, you just kind of in the background just making your silent moves. This is your stage. You're creating the life of your dreams here. And boy, is it showing you doing this. This is breaking all of these chains that was meant to stop you from creating this life of your dreams. And you're doing so for yourself. Scorpio. Taking pride in what you do. Taking pride in yourself. Going that extra distance to reach your highest potential. You strive for excellence. And boy, is it showing all over this read here. So somebody's in a mental prison because of who you are. And you're not giving up on yourself. And you're operating out of joy and happiness. You choose to look at life in a good light. You're not letting that darkness keep a bad taste in your mouth. You're just optimistic. You're courageous. You're powerful. You connect with your higher power. And you can overcome anything that's meant to challenge you, meant to stop you. And boy, is it, is it being shown. And it's somebody's in a mental prison because of this. Scorpio. You answered the call. Your ancestors reached out to you, and you are the one that picked up the call. And this is you fully understanding your purpose, your life. Going on these adventures, fully connecting with your ancestors, knowing the power that you get from your ancestors, and answering your calling. Again, finding your purpose, igniting your soul, your passion here is what you've done here for yourself. The great goddess, the great God energy. Your full divine energy. You have so much happiness that you're just pouring into you. And boy, is it showing. Like you're, you're, you've healed so much that you're glowing on a whole new level these days. Scorpio. Guess we're going to do that again, huh? Be bold and make the first move. So I'm telling you, this there's a love interest wanting to make a move towards you. So there's some kind of forward movement coming towards you with the love offer here. And somebody is ready to, to make a move on you. Taking time to breathe out. And you've just been taking time out for yourself. 
when we're down here putting in all this work that you've been doing, we got to take time for ourselves. So always remember to do that for yourself in the future as well. Don't let pride get in your way. Strong Leo placements or this person wanting to come towards you. There was prideful energy that was interfering. Someone's lowering their pride down to come in towards you now. Tell about this movement. Okay. So first off, you got somebody worried because you keep moving through things that are meant to keep you stuck. And then this love interest is wanting to come towards you because you got them looking at things differently. Looking at everything differently because of you. Tell me more. This person could have strong Pisces placements. Tell me more. Guarded energy in the past. And because of your, your trauma and what you've been through, that was meant to stop you from having this forward movement. And you kept fighting for what you wanted, your, what you believe in. You never gave up on yourself. That's why you're always able to move forward on your path here. So this person wanting to come towards you, they want to lower their guard down. They want to receive this with you because they look at you as this Queen of Cups. And because you're learning to give all this time and energy and love back to yourself, you are attracting your love towards you. And plus you're learning to trust your intuition and that is why you have forward movement. You're going into like celebrating chapters in your life here. Beautiful tower moments that are good change coming towards you. And these tower moments that were not good in your past... They were all meant to happen for you, so you could see where life is taking you at this time. Fears, insecurities, doubt. This is what this person's moving through to come your way. A lot of you guys have had spell work trying to stop you, and it didn't stop you. You continue to move through all of that because you move through your own insecurities, your own fear, your own doubt, your own limiting beliefs. That's what you've been working on and releasing and letting go of. And because you're doing that, you're able to move forward. Going towards your generational wealth, changing up the beha the behavioral patterns off of the bloodline. This is creating something secure, solid, healthy, happy. Bountiful, I just heard. Just very solid environment is what you've created. And you definitely got some money matters. Like blockages when it comes to money is no longer blockages for you. And you definitely got this person wanting to come towards you. And they look at you as somebody that they could have marriage with. Someone like both can add value to each other. And there is definitely... You are not meant to, to gain this much energy to move forward. You are not supposed to be this far. Because this devil has been very focused on you. This darkness has been trying to stop you and it didn't stop nothing. Only slowed you down. So this person wanting to come towards you, they're very fixated on you and they're trying to figure out the right words to say to you. Talk about this regeneration. So you're the phoenix rising. You come out of anything that's meant to challenge you. Yeah, you've been in this healing phase. Your healing has made you powerful. The way that you can detach and just walk away and be non-reactive makes you powerful. Tell me more. And that is the truth. And that came out forcefully. So you mean business. And this is all because you're discovering your truth and who you are at a core. That's why you're learning not to entertain just anything. The drama, the low vibing energy, like we're not lowering our energy down to, to match yours. No, thank you. You are the wish fulfillment and this is you understanding this now. This is pouring into yourself, loving self, doing kind things for self. There was a very selfish energy that was trying to stop you from moving forward. You're becoming more emotionally aware, more reserved. You're learning to how to control your emotions. You're learning to see through the manipulation as well. 
So this person that's wanting to come towards you, they've been going through their own metaphor metamorphing periods. They've been detaching and healing. They're seeing their truth. They're getting clarity about them. They're learning to pour into themselves and they're getting clarity about you and they see you as the wish fulfillment. And you've got this person that is much in their feelings about you. They look at you as their empress. This is somebody that sees you sitting over there in this beautiful light. They look at you as something, something that is angelic. And this is just attracting all these beautiful things towards you. And boy, are you doing that. Very much standing in your strength and your power. What goes around comes back around for these energies that were trying to stop you. You have this, this, ooh, you have this strength to you. And boy, is it undeniable. Tell me about this chain breaker. So you're the chain breaker. Like this is another message of you doing the same thing. Tell me more about the chain breaker. Victory, success. Things that have tried to challenge you, stop you on your path. Try to grab your attention. Those things don't do that anymore. And you are breaking chains because of this. You are learning to trust your intuition. You are learning to let your, your, your intuition guide you. Your spirit team guide you. You're just, you're seeing everything for what it is. Somebody wishes they would have, wouldn't have brought attention to this. So somebody is worried that they brought, a, that they brought attention to themselves. That's why this person's in this mental prison. Tell me more about chain breaker. Man, this is you getting out of everything that was meant to stop you. And you look, you make it look easy and it's not easy at all, but you make it look that way. You're very smooth at what you do here. You get out of everything that is meant to stop you. Some of you guys could see crows or crows could just follow you in general. Magician, you are the magician. You are the mastermind. You are the one that has everything that you need to to create the life for you. You take your pain and you alchemize it into something freaking beautiful, something prosperous. This is like spell work, practitioner energy that has tried to come up against you, try to stop you, and you keep breaking everything. And boy, is it being illuminated here. Because somebody was trying to attack you, try to stop you, and now somebody knows that something's over with. So this love interest of yours, they also have their own powers. They are learning things about them own, their own selves, and they are learning that they got everything they need to achieve the life that they want for themselves as well. They're realizing this. They're breaking things within their own life to come towards you. This person's been through a rebirth. And if this person, if something like, if there was like a mishap between the two of you, they feel bad for the way that things have played out. So you got this emperor looking at you. Seeing you build something here. So you're building your own empire. So even my feminines, we are in our masculine energy going after what we want in life. And that is also breaking chains here. You're building something very solid for yourself. And boy, do you got a counterpart noticing this about you. Some of you, there could have been a masculine energy involved in spell work here. And this person is just like side-eyeing you. Um, like shocked and in disbelief about the things that you have broken and stopped. There is a union that you're meant to have with this counterpart of yours. So this counterpart is like breaking things on their end so they can come in, in towards you, towards union, ultimate happiness. This is being that game changer of the bloodline here, making that big impact of change and it being such an impact that it impacts future generations down the line here. So this is just like a beautiful union that you're meant to have. Happiness, ultimate happiness. So many things tried to work against you, tried to stop you. And you continue to build. You continue to take bricks that were thrown your way and you stacked those bricks and you build a freaking mansion out of it. 
Talking about this captivity. So somebody is really in their mind about you. This is definitely the person that did you wrong or these people involved. And then it's also this love interest of yours. Because they also, they can't stop thinking about you. Talking about captivity. Somebody could be worried about getting in trouble. Talking about captivity. Ace of Pentacles. You're, you're receiving a big... So you're receiving some pretty big financial bundles, I'm going to call them. Bundles of uh, monetary gain coming your way. And somebody knows this. That's why they're in their, their head. And then this love interest of yours, they want to come towards you with a correct offer. And I mean, it's the ace. This isn't even a page. Like This is somebody that's like, all right, I see you and I want to do this. And I'm not playing around. Put my cards out on the table. We're going to do this. So... Somebody could be worried about getting in trouble over money. That's for somebody here. Tell me more about captivity. Somebody's worried because they shouldn't have invested into something. Because somebody was trying to stop you and now they're worried about what they've invested in. Worried even about investments. You were never supposed to invest into yourself and, and grow from your investments. And boy, this love interest really wants to invest into you. They can't get you out of their mind. And neither can this person that did you wrong either. Ace of Wands. The spell work was meant to have you in a mental imprisonment and it didn't work. For some of you, it could have spell work could even been to get you in trouble. To get you physically locked up and that didn't work. So this love interest wants to take action towards you because they feel this strong, passionate desire for you. And boy, the person that did spell work was involved in the spell work. Oh, they so much worried, man. An apology. Somebody may feel like they owe you an apology now. And you're going towards your destiny. And this person is aware that, that tried to stop you. Oh, they aware and they worried. Nothing is stopping you from changing anything. You're going towards your destiny. You're going toward what you were called to do and nobody's stopping you. And people are very well aware of this. This love interest has been making changes and they are coming your way as well. I've got Pisces, fire, water, air, air, fire, air, earth, and earth here. Scorpio. Uninhibited. You have a very erotic, tantalizing energy to you. You have an energy to you that can help people release their sexual fears. You're a storyteller. You have a story to tell. That's why you've been through some things. You have the ability to express your story. And you help communicate with people through your story. You're also seeing some kind of synchronicities with your storyline as well. So whatever that may be for you. You're very sophisticated. You're standing in your power. You're authentic energy. You know that your sex is very powerful. It's very sacred. And you're not letting anybody just have access to you. And you have this young at heart energy. You're youthful. You're playful. You pull out inner child in people. And boy, do you pull out the inner child in this love interest of yours. You're a warrior. You have a warrior spirit. You're not, a face, you're not afraid to face conflict and challenges. And you still stay committed to your path for the good in all, the good in you. This is why you do this. And you're using your discernment. You're very picky and choosy about who you let in your environment. Who you let have close access to you. You're very picky about that. And as you should be. Because you've had so many things try to stop you. And you're a fashionista. The way you dress. The way you just present yourself. It's unique. It's different. So this love interest likes the way that you dress. The way that you present yourself. And you're a channeler. You're very tapped in to power here. You, you receive divine messages. You receive downloads here. 
and you're an empath. You absorb people's emotions. You can just feel and sense and just know when things are off. You can feel it. Nobody can get nothing past you. And you always operate out of empathy. And that's why most try to take you for granted because you operate out of empathy. And that's why you're. it's so important to heal so you can understand your empathy and only give that beautiful empathy to those that deserve it. Why'd I point like point at you like you you know what I'm saying? Scorpio. Arc Arcturian? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Gifted at divination and channeling. Leader in communities and workplaces. Here to advance and innovate. So you're here to learn some things and innovate. Stardom. Achieving a high social status, famous in entertainment, social media famous. Some of you guys are meant to be social media famous. Some of you guys could already be this already, but you're meant to reach certain levels of fame and stardom for yourself. I guess that's the same word, right? <coughs> I'm not sure. Tell me more, Scorpio. Lone wolf, you are a lone wolf. Solitude will be your greatest ally. Living a meaningful life has a loner. Road to success will be lonely. And this is why you're understanding your power and who you are. That's why you're not letting anybody just have access to you. And that's how it should be. You're a source of light. Source of light and positivity to others. Achieving personal growth and wisdom. Your inner strength inspires others to do the same. Attachment to self and existence. Soul meant to transcend all cultures, deep connection to ancestors. So you're meant to move through all cultures. You're definitely meant to learn your own culture, but also be more aware of other cultures as well because they all have great knowledge. And it's like not letting that culture cause division anymore. And you're breaking these contracts. Contract stop serving your growth. You freed yourself from a contract and you changed the blueprint. Like you weren't meant to break some kind of chain or something here. You broke a contract and somebody's worried about this now. And you're not letting the ego operate anymore. You're dismantling the ego. This is how you fully found your true self. And you're not letting ego lead the way anymore. This love interest of yours had to release their ego as well in order to come towards you. Scorpio. Something wasn't the right time before. Something was only slowed down, never stopped. This person wasn't ready to be vulnerable. They weren't ready to open up and experience this connection before. That's why things went the way that they did in the past. And... Worrying. This person is worrying. Just stressing. And then the one that did you wrong is doing the same thing as well. Because there's another person that was involved with trying to stop you. And they are definitely worrying right now. And you're just in this energy where things are starting to feel foreign because everything is just life is just different everything is just different now and it's like what is all of this and just trying to find the deeper meaning to everything and this is also attracting better connections towards you and everything is going to feel foreign at first because all you've known is your past toxicity and this is all changing and different it's it's healthier it's high vibing embrace it accept it because this is what it's going to be from now on and it's because you're healing your heart. You're no longer putting those band-aids over those bullet wounds. You're diving deep within and you're finding out where the pain stems from. And you're healing that and you're working through it. And you're releasing it because you're doing that. That's good. And you're preparing for new. You've moved, you moved through old emotional pain and it no longer holds you hostage. Being careful of who and what you let in now. Making better choices. This is what you've been doing. This love interest has been doing the same thing. You've got a big heart. Kind, loving, generous. This is who you are and this is what you're attracting towards you because this is who you are. 
twin flame. Some of you guys, this person's your twin flame. Not everybody has a twin flame. You are your twin. Don't let titles keep you stuck. There's some spiritual lessons. Could have been different religion beliefs. So the ones that may have thought that you didn't believe what, what you believed in, they're all worried now because what you believe in and what you said is exactly what's going on, and that's why they're panicking. Could be some religious belief systems between you and this love interest. There definitely was some lessons that needed to be learned, and I feel like they've been learned. You're confident, you're successful, you're fulfilled, you're happy, and boy does it show. And because you are those things, wishes are being granted for you. The magical energies are now surrounding you. And just watch your thoughts and watch what you're saying because everything is very much activated and powerful right now for you. No longer feeling left out. No longer dealing with any type of scarcity mindset anymore. All of that's been released. And somebody knows this. That's why they're worried. The one that tried to send things your way involved. Yeah, they know it. This is understanding that all of this lacking is no longer going to be lacking anymore. This love interest had a certain mindset that they had to let go of in order to come towards you. And you're no longer accepting bare minimum from people because you're no longer giving that to yourself anymore. You're done with it. It's like come correct or don't come at all. And boy, is it heard. This person's fantasizing about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. Like this person is just wanting to come towards you. Scorpio. Control and possessive energy is what's tried to stop you. And there is a curse that stems from the mother. Mother's side. There was some kind of curse that was placed on the mother. Was this like learned behavior that's either passed from the mother or seeing the mother get handed this behavior? There was so much control and possessive energy that has tried to stop you and you broke everything. Good for you. This is like disconnecting and going off grid because there was some Jezebel spirits that's been trying to stop you, attract you. Jezebel spirits are competitive. They're jealous. They're narcissistic. They use force to take what they want. They use body to take what they want. So, this is no longer letting these Jezebel spirits affect you anymore. So, the masculine may have had like Jezebel. Well, technically, Jezebel spirits can be latched to both feminine and masculine energies. So, this is both feminine and masculine seeing the Jezebel spirits for what they are and disconnecting from them. So this love interest of yours has a boss mentality. They could be an actual boss. This is somebody that's been very much distracted at work because of you. Because they're wanting to come towards you. So they're trying to figure out the right action to take. Because it's driving them bonkers to the point, like I said, it's getting in the way of work for them. So you've been activating some power that you get from your bloodline and somebody's been investigating something now. This love interest may have been investigating things within their own bloodline even. There could be somebody under investigation because somebody's worried about going to jail. I keep getting that for somebody here because there's an investigation going on. And your protection shows clearly. That's why somebody's worried. Something about community. Some of you guys are in the city life and you're meant to disconnect and go off grid here. Some of you, there's just like communities that were trying to like, could have been part of these, this energies that's worried that tried to like stop you and they're the ones being stopped. You're hired for something. Some of you guys are changing careers or you are receiving an offer. There's a date coming towards you with this person. And the environment's about to change. And that's another reason why somebody's so worried. Because this person's coming towards you. And that makes somebody aware that 
what they've done, their time is indefinitely up. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to get that out of my throat, man. I felt like my throat chakra was closing up. Scorpio. Scorpio. Did that fall? No, that was from the other one. Okay. Star-crossed lovers. Right person, wrong time. Now that wanted to come in reverse. So that tells me that these two both are doing things to, to come an energetic match. Whether you guys are subconsciously aware or consciously aware that you're doing so. you Like again, there's resistance. And this is like getting rid of that resistance because that's in reverse. A soulmate. Your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you, help you grow. And it'll be undeniable connection. And this is what you've done for this person. This is what you guys are going to be for each other even. Divine timing has definitely been at play. Somebody tried to stop some kind of divine timing to happen. And somebody did not want somebody to learn from you. Didn't want you to learn the truth about a connection as well. And, and it's still happening. That's why this energy is worried. Or these energies involved are worried. That divine timing. Somebody tried to, to play fate. Like they could control time. They can't control nothing. This is fully coming into alignment that every, with everything that's meant to be for you. Love, money, whatever you're wanting. If that is yours. It's going to line up with you. Power couple that you're meant to have. And this was meant to like stop this power couple from happening. But it's still happening. You both are fiercely independent. And you both know how to be on your own. And you both know how to show up in a commitment as well. So this is like... This so there's like an on again off off again energy that could have been interfering or this is what could have been happened between the two of you. Someone has some kind of caged heart that they weren't that they hadn't unlocked their heart from a cage and that's what this person's been doing. And this is unforeseen love. This person never expected to fall in love with you or even feel this way about you, but they still feel the way they feel. That's why they're coming towards you. Scorpio. Somebody knows that they need to make a move. Time is running out. And then somebody, the, the energies that did you wrong, they keep looking at the time and the days that keep going by. And they're very well aware because somebody's worried about getting in trouble. I keep getting that. Somebody's at the breaking point wanting to come towards you. Other energies are at the breaking point because they know they done broke themselves for trying to break you. And there's a confession coming towards you with this love interest. Because they see you as this, this ecstasy. You bring out excitement in this person. And they are now, they, they feel like they could have a lot of good times with you. And this masculine is definitely wanting to make a move towards you. The masculine is definitely becoming more aware of like the pain that you've been through. But they're also becoming more aware about their own pain. That's why they've been making changes. And this one's been clinging on to the thought of you, but they've been holding back and they're, tr they're tired of holding back. They want to come towards you. They're spying. The confusion is wearing off now that this person's been getting information. They could be getting readings on you or watching readings like this. But this person is definitely getting this information that they needed to. And so is everybody else. That's why people are worried. And you're just over there growing, nourishing yourself, finding yourself. Taking all that darkness and things that have tried to stop you and you keep breaking every single one of those chains. And oh, do you make it look good and easy. And this person's wanting to, to return to you. You feel like home to this person. That's why they're getting ready to make a move. They're ready, they're ready to come towards you. So, all right, my beautiful Scorpio. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. Appreciate you guys. Light and love to you. See you guys Wednesday.